It's the harvesting season. But no, we're not talking about harvesting pumpkins, corn, apples, or any land-grown crops, but rather some land-grown seafood. Yes, you heard that right. If you're one of those who think, oh, Japan is dumping nuclear contaminated water, and I'm no longer having any seafood, that kind of person, here I present you with a perfect solution. Hello and welcome to this mouth-watering episode of Tech Please. Northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, the furthest point from any coastline, is harvesting something unusual for the typical impression of a landlocked region, seafood. Shrimps and crabs are too ordinary to mention. When visiting Xinjiang, indulge yourself in some seafood alicotter. From salmon, tilapia, and grouper, to abalone and lobster, you name it. So, how is seafood cultivated in a place with extremely dry climate? If you're looking for the tech behind this industry, there is actually more science involved. And I'm talking about natural science. Xinjiang is a place that consists of multiple rivers, lakes, reservoirs, and natural ponds. The best part? The melting snow from the Tianxian Mountains. This is where local salmon are swimming. I mean, Wow, look at that crystal clear sapphire-like water. Well, of course, technology is at the core for making things happen. Apart from the high purity of the Tianxian water, the fish eggs are grown in an artificial breeding environment after being introduced from overseas. These environmentally friendly breeding cages can withstand strong winds and waves while preventing feed and feces from being discharged directly into the water, which may pose a threat to the local ecosystem. And underwater robots with sonar imaging systems and optical cameras are also deployed to clean the cages. Another way of doing inland aquafarming is adapting baby crayfish or shrimp to a freshwater environment. Xinjiang 要监测这个水塘的温度the practice of inland aquafarming is bringing steady quality sea products to consumers and growing economic value for local farmers. In 2022, the total output value of Xinjiang's fishery industry reached 4.2 billion yuan, an increase of 921 million yuan compared with 2019. Nowadays, being a fisherman is the new fashion in the area. A fisherman in Xinjiang can earn about nearly 20,000 yuan each year on average. This lucrative business is attracting more areas in China with rich saline alkaline land to breed seafood like shrimp and crab using similar techniques. These areas include northwest China's Qinghai Ningxiahui Autonomous Region, north China's Inner Mongolia, and central China's Henan Province. All right, I'm about to enjoy some inland bread seafood. Bye for now, and do stay tuned for more tech, please.